Hey everyone, and welcome to another Zim tutorial. Today, I want to show you how you can remove potential mouse stutter with your Zim. There are several reasons for why your mouse can suffer from cursor stutter and jitter when playing with your Zim. In the following video we will go through a list of the most common sources, and fix those step by step. Sometimes jitter is caused by several factors, therefore if you suffer from mouse stutter, I recommend you to try all of the solutions I show here in the same order until your jitter is gone. Mouse stutter has a negative impact on your overall mouse accuracy on mid to long distance fights, but also affects the aim assist in a negative way. The aim assist will feel like an obstacle that you need to overcome, rather than a guiding hand that helps you to stay on target. But before we start with the list of solutions, I want to show you how you can identify potential mouse jitter the best. Start your preferred game, and find an empty area, maybe your favorite game even has a test range zone. Look for an object in the distance that has a round or diagonal shape. Once you have found such an object try to follow its outline with your crosshair very slowly. If you struggle to do this because your crosshair jumps and skips around, then you suffer from mouse stutter. Here you can see some example clips of mouse stutter in different games. My mouse crosshair looks like it skips a few pixels instead of moving smoothly around the object. Mouse stutter is mostly noticeable with diagonal or circular mouse movements. Now that you have a good understanding on how to identify mouse stutter, let's look into how we can remove it. The first solution for mouse stutter is to verify that your in-game settings match the Zim requirements. Most games only need the controller sensitivity set to maximum. However, some games require additional in-game adjustments to allow the Zim to give you the best possible mouse movements. In order to find those settings, press the gear wheel button in the bottom right of your Zim Manager's configuration picture. A pop-up will appear. Press yes and your manager will show you the additional requirements that a lot of games need. Using different settings can cause mouse stutter or other bad mouse behaviors such as acceleration. It is also worth it to check if your Zim config is on the latest game translator, which is the second mouse stutter solution. To do this you simply click into your Zim configuration profile picture, and it will show you a number in the top right. The last digit behind the dot is the game configuration version, as you can see here, I am running the version 3 of Fortnite. Since Fortnite received a game look mechanic update lately, version 3 will no longer give optimal mouse movements and therefore can cause mouse stutter. A version 4 is already out though, so head into your Zim Manager's global settings, and press the Force Games download. Your Zim will now download the latest game profiles. Once the download is complete, all you have to do is to create a new game configuration as your old one will continue to run on version 3. The third solution for mouse stutter is to change your mouse DPI. If your mouse DPI value is too low, or too high, then this can cause stutter too. The perfect DPI range for most mouse pads and the Zim is 3000 to 4000 DPI. If you use less than that, then you will experience mouse stutter on pretty much all mouse pad surfaces. If you use more than 4000 DPI, then you can experience mouse stutter on cloth pads. High DPI are fine on hard pads and plastic pads though. 3000 to 4000 DPI is the sweet spot where the Zim interpolation won't affect your mouse movements, and your mouse sensor will not get irritated by your mouse pad. With these DPI settings you will have the least amount of mouse stutter. When you adjust your DPI, you will automatically also change your in-game mouse sensitivity. The first link in the video description will direct you to an online calculator that helps you to calculate what your new sensitivity will be like with your new DPI settings, to keep the same in-game turn speed as before. 
Under link 2 you will find my best mouse DPI for Zim tutorial video that covers this specific mouse stutter solution in more detail. The fourth solution for mouse stutter is to change your mouse and Zim pulling rate. Using a pulling rate that your mouse cannot keep up with very well will result in noticeable mouse stutter. A lot of mice offer up to 1000 Hz, but not all of them can send a constant 1000 Hz signal. Most modern gaming mice can run 500 Hz without any problems though, which is why I recommend you to switch both, your Zim, and your mouse pulling rate to 500 Hz if you experience mouse stutter. In my tutorial video Best Zim and Mouse Pulling Rate, you can find three easy tests that help you to identify if your mouse performs good or bad with 1000 Hz. You can find this video under link 3 in the video description. Changing your mouse pulling rate can usually be done by using your PC mouse driver, or by pressing certain buttons on the mouse itself, often while connecting it to the PC. Check your mouse manual on how to change its pulling rate. To adjust your Zim pulling rate, all you need to do is to go into your Zim manager's global settings. Tick the expert box there, and change the pulling rate to 500 Hz. After that, hit the save button at the bottom right, and restart your Zim. Pulling rate changes will only become active when you fully power cycle your Zim. Once your Zim is running again, you can see the new polling rate setting in the top left of your Zim manager. The fifth solution for mouse stutter is to change your Zim synchronization value. You can find this option in your Zim configuration when you have the expert mode ticked in your manager's global settings. Press the button with the three dots under your hip, or ADS sensitivity, and you will see the synchronization option. Synchronization off, and default can cause minor, or even noticeable mouse stutter in some games. I recommend you to use either common, or slow, because these two settings give you the best mouse movements. If you use an ADS configuration, it is important that you also change the synchronization value there too, if you have mouse stutter while zooming with your weapons. The sixth solution for mouse stutter is to use the Zim smoothing feature. Only use smoothing if the first five suggestions didn't remove your jitter already. You can find the smoothing option next to the synchronization feature, and you will have to change it for both, your hip and your ADS configuration. Start with a smoothing value of 2, and increase it in small increments until the stutter is gone. After a smoothing value of around 10 to 15, you will start to notice that your mouse movements will become inaccurate and mushy. Therefore, I do not recommend you to use too much smoothing. If you still experience mouse stutter, even with a smoothing of 15 or higher, the reason for your stutter most likely lies in your gaming hardware itself, which is the seventh solution we will look at now. Check, or change your gaming hardware. If you still have stutter after these six suggestions, then your mouse jitter must be hardware related and cannot be solved by software changes. This can include dirt, or debris on your mouse sensor and mouse pad. Check those and carefully clean them if necessary. However, it might also be because your mouse does not offer enough DPI, or its pulling rate is extremely low. Most non-gaming mice, such as desktop mice, have DPI values of between 400 to 1000 DPI, and their pulling rates might be capped at 250, or even 125 Hz. In those cases, I recommend you to try a different mouse, preferably a gaming mouse and continue to use your other mouse for the PC then. Another reason can be your mousepad, if it has a surface texture that can irritate your mouse sensor, then I recommend you to try a different mousepad. Some PC mouse driver allow you to assign a mousepad type to your mouse sensor, this will greatly increase your mouse tracking and reduce stutter. At last, if you use a wireless mouse, make sure that there are no wireless interferences in your room. Also, when the mouse battery starts to get low, the mouse can have stutter on longer distances, so charge your mouse, and if necessary reduce the distance between the Bluetooth receiver and the mouse as well. If you have any questions about the Zim, or how you can remove mouse stutter, just ask in the comments down below. 
If you liked this video, hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. Also, let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorials in the comments down below, and I will maybe see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy your Zim experience.